Hey guys, this is Christian with reviews on this and that. Today I'll be showing you how to replace and upgrade and reinstall your hard drive on your Lenovo laptop, which is what you see in front of you. And this is model number G580. Again, this is a black Lenovo laptop, model number G580. So let's go ahead and get started. But before you do, you need to do a few things. You need to know a few things ahead. Um, with a tool that we will need today as a small small screwdriver and the one uh, a small Phillips screwdriver to be exact excuse me and then you also need to know that anytime you replace a hard drive on any laptop or any computer in that case that you will need to reinstall Windows the Windows operating system whether you have Windows XP Windows Vista Windows 7 Windows 8 or the new the newly released Windows 10 and then of course you have to install all the updates Microsoft Office your antivirus program and any other third party program that you need to use, any, M any malware protection, any wrong programs, and blah blah blah. So, uh, and now the, the second thing you can do is if you don't have a uh, the official copy of Windows 7 or Windows 8, an actual Windows installation DVD, the second option is that maybe you know how to clone your hard drive, which there are several ways to clone an entire hard drive and basically copy it onto a new hard drive or the third option is to install from your Windows recovery DVD or flash drive that you got from your manufacturer in this case would be it would be Lenovo directly okay so let's go ahead and get started the best thing to do is you want to shut down Windows properly you want to unplug your charger unplug any other peripheral that you have uh, plugged in into your computer whether you have external hard drive um, any flash drives, any printers, scanners, smartphones or tablets, really anything that's plugged in into your laptop, you want to go ahead and unplug that. You want those out of the way so you so you can get this project done very smoothly and efficiently. So and then you want to shut down your laptop. Of course, let's go ahead and uh, turn this over upside down so I show you guys what to do. I'll try to explain as much as I can so you guys don't get stuck in, in any uh, during this procedure. Now it's highly recommended to always remove to go ahead and always remove the laptop battery anytime you are getting ready to replace any component inside of a unit. Okay, so what you want to do is there's two two battery release uh, release buttons. This is the battery locking um, mechanism right here. So you want to move this to the right in the unlocking uh, position, and then as you push this one that way to your left, away from the laptop, the battery will basically slide right out. Okay, and then what you want to do. You see these two screws right here? You want to unscrew these, and then you will get to see uh, plenty of goodies inside. So, because you're probably wondering, what's really inside my laptop? I don't know if you guys ever opened a laptop before or took one apart, um, as I have many times for different reasons. And then you're probably wondering, okay, what do those two screws really hold? Hold? It's basically holding this entire bottom piece of the laptop then what you want to do is you want to press down on the laptop firmly and then you want to slide this piece away from the laptop which is facing you want to slide it towards the front of the laptop so you want to slide that out it's basically going to slide out about a quarter inch give or take and then you're basically going to lift up and then and then here's where you see your memory your hard drive and your optical drive another name for it is a DVD ROM drive okay you want to put that piece aside and then what you want what you need to do now you need to make sure, I don't know if you guys noticed, I put my uh, my screws that I took off these two pieces to, to hold down the cover separately. You never want to lose these screws, believe me, okay? And then what you need to do is, this is your hard drive, as I said. We need to, this is actually the hard drive along with a uh, hard drive enclosure on top of it, most likely that's holding it down. So we need to remove the hard drive and enclosure by removing these two, these two uh, Phillips screws right here. So let's go ahead and do that. And then you want to put these in a safe place, as I said a few minutes ago. I like to use my cobalt ratcheting screwdriver set. It comes very handy for jobs like this. And if you can, try to get a hold of a try to get a hold of a magnet magnetic. Oops, there you go. See how see how all this sticks. This is a magnetic um, ratcheting screwdriver set, which I got for only five dollars from uh, from Lowe's, from the local Lowe's store. And this is the Cobalt brand. Works very well for jobs like these. 
And then what you need to do is basically um, this this hard drive is actually plugged in, if you would, into the SATA interface onto the motherboard directly. So what you need to do, see this piece of plastic rubber right here? What you need to do is basically push the hard drive that way firmly. Then you will hear it unplug itself and then you're basically going to lift up. Okay. And then what you need to do is remove these four screws. Here's one, two, three, four, which is very common for pretty much any hard drive enclosure on many laptops. Okay, you want to make sure you don't lose these screws. You got to have some patience doing these type of projects but you are also saving yourself quite a bit of money to go see your local computer technician because um, some people are pretty pricey and they, they charge some outrageous money to do these tasks which do not really take a genius to figure out to be honest okay so that's screw number three and here's screw number four one thing you need to understand and also pay, pay very close attention to you guys might not have thought about this or maybe you have is that once you take out the four screws be very careful because normally now the hard drive is very loose and it just basically slides right out almost in any position from the hard drive enclosure and then you need to pay attention how this hard drive is sitting this is the top of the hard drive which needs to be facing down in other words facing away from the enclosure when you install the new one okay so this is a this is a Seagate hard drive, it's a 320 gig hard drive, and then when you put the new one, so this is your hard drive caddy, okay, and if you guys remember, when you put the new hard drive, when you install the new one, it needs to go in the same exact position as you uninstalled the, the older one, okay, so you see this is the top of, this is the top of the hard drive, okay, because if you put it the opposite way, it's just not going to install properly, and you will have nothing but problems, okay. So then what you want to do now, you want to put this, these four screws, and yes, you can use uh, you can use the same screws that you took off the old one. Should be no problem. And then what you need to do, you need to be very careful that you don't lose these screws. And you only want to ha hand tie in these, you don't want to over tighten them. It's not really a good idea, to be honest. So and hopefully you guys are not falling asleep here on me, or dozing off the screen I'm just trying to go as fast as I can but you also want to do this project only one time and not several times because I like to do things right the first time and not the second time so that's the second screw and this is the third screw one thing about these type of jobs whether you're placing your memory or hard drive or optical drive is that you want oops you need to have some good lighting uh, in your room or you want to have a good bright desk uh, desk lamp that can always come handy because these screws are pretty small and that's why I'm being very careful because if you drop one of them on the floor you definitely don't want to lose it and believe me because most people don't have these type of screws laying around extra you know what I'm saying um, let's see, yeah, see what I'm talking about this is a magnetic tip which comes very handy. Okay, you want to make sure that's firm, and this is firm. You want to make sure these other two sides are firm. Okay, that looks good. That looks good. Okay, now here comes the tricky part, guys. Now, uh, we're gonna mount the hard drive the same way we uninstalled it. One thing important that you, you have that you have noticed, maybe you haven't, maybe you have not. Um, there, see these two metal pieces popping out right here these need to align with this with these two holes right here these extra spaces on the right and left so basically you lay oops, you lay the hard drive in there in that position you just lay it down flat and then what you need to do is basically drag pull the hard drive towards you and you will you will see that it snaps in and you also can push it from the back of the hard drive you want to make sure it's firmly inserted into the into the SATA interface and then you want to use the same two screws that you removed from this spot and this spot right here 
I'm going to tighten these firmly, not too tight again. And let's see. I'll put the second screw here. We're almost done, guys. Okay, so this is basically plain and simple. If you just, if you just have a good working, um, preferably a ratcheting screwdriver set. doesn't really have to be a ratcheting, but I do this pretty much on a daily and weekly basis. And then what you need to do is grab our little friend here, the piece that covered all these goodies. Basically, you want to put that flat against the laptop. And then remember when it, when it slides out that way. Now basically it's gonna you're gonna hold down on the laptop. You're gonna basically press and push towards you. See how that snaps back in. You want you want then you want to put these two screws back on. Almost done, guys. Just stay with me just for a few more minutes, and you will be on your way with your brand new hard drive and brand new operating system. And you want to put these back on. Then you wanna. Pop on your battery. You basically align it. Oops, see, basically align it the same way as you uninstalled it. You align it on the same height with your Lenovo laptop. You basically push in firmly, and then make sure snaps in, snaps back in. You want to make sure you lock that. And we are all set, guys. You have just replaced and upgraded your own hard drive on your Lenovo uh, laptop, model number G580. And again, this is Christian. If you guys like my videos please like comment or subscribe and i will see you guys next time